this lab is related to uh, session hijacking. In this lab, we are going to see how, with different tools, uh, you can hijack a specific session. In this case, we are working with the OWASP machine. <coughs> Sorry. And we are here in this menu, in session management flows. We look for the hijack a session menu, and we have here the instruction for what, for what we need to do. In this case, we want to graph an authenticated session belonging to someone else. Someone else. We are going to use a beautiful tool called Web Scarab. So we just need to go to the Kali menu and write Web Scarab, this one. Web Scarab is a proxy, an interception proxy. One recommendation for you guys is this. I use a beautiful tool called Foxy Proxy. Maybe you're familiar with this. Foxy Proxy, it's, um, it's an add-on for Firefox. So I can, I can, I need to create additional tab here, but I don't see the option to be honest. Oh, here, perfect. Let me show you. Foxy Proxy allows you to configure your proxies in a very easy and fast way. Foxy Proxy. No, it's taking a moment, but well, I can show you here. Foxy Proxy, after you install it, you have this button, and then you can select if you are going to use a proxy or not. Okay, that's great, it's because you can select no proxy, or you are going to use Borb Suite, or you are going to use any proxy. So Foxy Proxy is very useful. You are going to see that we are going to use, let me take a look about the the web scarab. It's 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 loading yet. It's loading yet. Let's see. Give me a second, I quit here. Okay, good. Perfect. Here we have our proxy, our web scarab proxy. And he have some specific configurations. If you take a look in the proxy tab, you are going to see those configurations. You have here listeners, and you see the listener is working through the 127.0.0.1 IP, the local host IP, and the port 80.0.8. So you can configure your proxy. Let's say options. And you can add additional proxy. I have already Borp. <coughs> Sorry. I have already Borp. Uh, you can edit any, any previous configuration if you want. In this case, a Borp use 8080. And uh, uh, Web Scarab use 8008, right? So you can say add. You can say Web Scarab. Web Scarab. HTTP proxy. The IP address 127.0.0.1 and the port 8008, I think. Yeah. So, perfect. No username, no password needed. So, I'm going to save and that's it. So, now, when I'm going to navigate, I can select here which proxy I want to use in a very easy way, so you don't need to lose time. Normally, I try to automate a lot of process in, in the way I can, I try to do that. So I can say Web Scarab as proxy. That's it. So here you can see that the proxy is, is um, activated. Here, the Web Scarab is capable to grab your traffic right now. If I try to navigate in another website like Foxy Proxy, you are going to see that the Web Scarab is ca capturing that traffic. Let's see one of these. I hope my ASP don't gonna have issues today, but 
I don't know. Foxy proxy, Firefox, let's say. Firefox. Firefox. Good. Okay. Look, the proxy is now intercepting and this the, the navigate the browser says, hey, the certificate, blah 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 blah. And you say, okay, no problem. And um, we can say the certificate, and you can modify your pro your proxy. But the important thing here is that the proxy is now capturing your traffic. You can see the message here. You see here in proxy the information, and the most important part here is the session ID analysis. That's the part that we are interested in using this tool. So in the example we have here we need to understand how is the session creation process. So I'm going to put something here, something here, and I say login. I just need to, to, to know how this process work. So the idea is if I try to, to establish a session that, that our proxy capture that. In session ID analysis, you have the possibilities or the possibility to see the previous request in this field. I just need to go to this arrow and look for all the previous requests we have here. Here we can see web goat, blah, 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 JavaScript, web goat, web goat, blah, 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 blah. Perfect. So what are we looking for? We are looking for a 200 OK code. Maybe you're familiar with the HTML codes. HTML codes, you familiar with these guys or do you need me to explain? HTML code you said? Yeah, HTML. Let me show you, don't worry about it. Let me show you. Uh, I'm talking about the 200. Yeah, you are familiar, maybe with another name. Look, normally HTML, HTTP, sorry, never, you are going, you're never going to understand me. HTTP codes, sorry, HTTP codes. I don't know why I'm thinking HTML, sorry. Yeah, could you go in depth for HTTP code? Yeah, HTTP codes are 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, right? And they tell you about if 200 OK means that from client to server, the website was um, offered in a perfect way. 300, 300 are used to redirection, right? 400 for errors, and so on, so on, so on. Look, here, 100 are informational, 200 success, 300 redirection, 400 errors from client, 500 errors from server. So. 200 means OK is the best answer you want or you can receive because everything was perfect between client and server, right? Those codes. So you look for the 200 OK code. In this case, we have it here. You see, we have one here. And then let's see, what, let's look for the last one. Let's see. Oh. I have one here. We've got 200, okay. If I, let's see, we have 58, 58 requests capture. Let's do this. I'm going to be here and I hit enter. We was in 58. So, 58, look, we have more now. So, let's look for the 200, okay. Here, we have the 200, okay. So here we have the request, in this case, HTTP, the IP address, the URL, and the parameters, menu equal 1800. Perfect. Here we have the headers. Here we have the values. So we need to take a look about the cookies. We are going to go to the cookies because it's the only one parameter we see here, and there is an authorization parameter. But here we have cookies, we have wake ID, J session ID, different cookies. Sometimes you are working against uh, other services, I'm not gonna say names just because the, the recording, 
but let's say uh, mail service, a very common mail service, they use three different cookies. So you need to work with those three. Here we have two different cookies. We are going to work with one of them first. So you see here the Great ID value. So this tool allows you to try to send a proof against the server and analyze the results. How do you do that? How do you do that? Very simple. I'm going to remove this part, the Great ID part, the Great ID cookie part. I remove it. And this tool shows you the parameters you remove. When you remove a parameter, you are telling this tool, show me how this parameter is behaving. Now we have here the test button that is used to send the test against the server. Let's try to do this test. And what we are waiting for is the value of the Wake ID. What we need to analyze the complexity of this Wake ID. And if this Wake ID is the session ID, how do you do know that? Very simple. If it's the session ID for each um, login attempt, this session ID should change. If it's not the session ID, maybe this, this cookie remains the same. Am I clear in this, guys? Is logic for you? It's, it makes, makes sense? Perfect. So here we have that this ID finished with 2436. Perfect. Okay. Test again. 3427. Change. Okay. One more. 8373. Change. So maybe this is the cookie that controls the sessions IDs. Perfect. So we need now to understand how is the behavior in order to know if we can hack this session ID. So we have here this field to try with a specific amount, amount of proofs against the server, let's say 100. And you have this button here, fetch. You can say fetch, and then this tool is going to send 10, 100 proofs against the server. And then you, you can analyze the behavior. We can go to the analysis um, uh, tab and select here the request we are trying and you are going to see the 100 tests. What we are looking here, a very important and simple to found thing. You see that all of them are numeric, not alphanumeric. They, those are numeric, only numbers. So here we have a column called difference. You see that some of these numbers are similar, but some of them are so different. Look, this one, this one, this one. That means that if you take a look here, there was a jump. Look, they come, look, 10, 7, 3, 1, Blah, 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 32, 33, 34, 36. And in this one, let me see. In this one, 10, 7, 7, 5, 8, and jumps to the 10, 7, 60. You see? You are missing one. There is no 10, 7, 59. Additionally, one additional thing you can see is here in visualization. You can analyze the behavior of these sessions. As you see, this is so, so coherent. It's so simple. It's like a progression. If this was like an, uh, an, uh, an ant march, man, good luck. But when you see these behaviors, you say, okay, this is easy to crack because it's easy to understand. There is no entropy. Maybe you're familiar with the entropy concept. Entropy, it's uh, the analysis of the chaos, the craziness. Some people have entropy in their faces. 
<laughs> no, 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 just joking. But entropy is that. I just use some jokes because you are going to remember that in, a, in an easy way. So entropy means disorder, craziness here. It, here, there is not entrop entropy here. It's so, so coherent. So, okay, let's go to the analysis. And you see that here we have a jump and um, here we have a jump. Tell me, guys and girls, why you think we have jumps there? They are offering, okay, they are offering 10,780, 10,781, 10,783, 10,787, and jumps to 10,789. Why they don't offer to us 10,788? Why? It's simple. Go ahead. Go ahead, Andres. Okay, no problem at all. Somebody else already have that session. That's the reason. Somebody is using that session, so the server can't offer you that session. Simple, right? So what we can do, we can export that, that results. We can create a file. I'm going to create a file sessions, sessions, save it. And let's take, take note of one of these jumps, like this one. My jump is... Um, I'm going to write it here. 10, 7, 5, 9. That's the jump. Good. So now... We have that session, sessions file. Perfect. Now that we know more or less an approximate number belonging to a session, we need to do brute force to grab the right session ID. So we need a specific tool, a beautiful tool called um, I use jhijack for this. Let's see. I don't remember if I already have this tool here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have it. Jhijack. You can download it from internet. It's it's free. Jhijack. Okay, proxy. I'm not going to use the proxy for now in this moment. So turn off the proxy. Okay. And um, that's it. Jhijack. You can download it. It's a Java. Java tool, very simple, very easy, free, very good. I share that tool in your chat. Perfect, Jay Hayak. I already have it, so I don't need to download that tool. Perfect, so I'm going to use that tool. Um, let me run it from another shell. If you see, it's a Java file. How can you execute a Java? Very simple. You just need to say Java dash jar j j hijack dot jar. Enter. And uh, good. Perfect. What we need to do now? Very easy. We need to configure. Um, it's better if I put this here and the other one here. We just need to configure this tool. 
the host, okay, the IP address of the machine we are attacking right now. 138. The port 80. The URL. This is a fuser. Perfect. Method. I think it's a get method. Grep. In grep, normally you need to put the the word or the string. This tool is going to look inside to to know that you achieved to log in. Maybe this word will be welcome, congratulations, hi, welcome back. Okay, something that let this tool knows that can log inside. Because if this is an, a, a dumb tool, right? You just need to tell him everything. So in this case, we are going to say congratulations. If you are not sure about the word to put here, you can put many words and you can separate by comma. You see, uh, sorry. You can put uh, separate words uh, with comma. The session ID. So let's put here the session ID. Session ID is the value we have here in our proxy. Here, when we collect the information, we have a session ID. We are going to take that information, only the session ID. So I copy, and paste that session ID here. Good. Parameters. I don't have any parameter. I, I'm going to remove that for now. Hijack type. Cookie. That's what we are going to, to, to try to to crack, I have a wake ID there. I just leave the wake ID part and I'm going to modify this part. So here we need to put the approximate number with the jump that we found previously. So here we have our sessions. The session we are looking for is 10759, 10759. Perfect, 759, perfect. I'm going to take the previous one. I'm going to take the previous one. One important thing now is to understand how it changed one, one compared with the other one. So look, you can take a look that there are some constants. One, five, these numbers are constants until these three numbers. You see, these three numbers change but this part is a constant. That's important. Even so, one, two, three, four, five, six, this is a, a counter. So maybe we can work only with two numbers. Let's try. So I'm going to take this session. I'm going to copy that here. I'm going to remove the last two numbers, one, two, and replace that with a dollar sign to create a variable that this tool is going to use to try and try and try the different session IDs. The hijack data is numeric. The range we are going to try is from one to 99, right? I think we are, ah, important thing. The, the one missing is the 750 nine. So I'm going to remove 59, 58 and put 59. That's the one we are looking for. Let's try. Hijack. If everything goes okay, in a moment we are going to receive here the potential, look, the potential 
session ID. Then he validates and tells you this one is the session you are looking for. Perfect. We found it. Yeah? So we just need to copy that session and then you can inject that session in here but normally you need a tool to do that I don't have tools installed to do that here so we can look for the best one is a beautiful proxy that is called tamper data let's see I hope this one works. Let's see. Let's see if it's compatible. Okay, I think this one is working. Let's see. Let's try. If no, I can use another like Cookie Manager or similar because we need to inject this session. I mean this cookie. Ah, sorry. Good. So let's see if it works. I have the tamper data. Let's see. It's working. So you need to activate the tamper data. This is a new version. Uh, let me understand it a little bit. You have here the normal tamper data okay let's say start tamper data I need more space here yeah start tamper data yeah tamper data is an immediate in interception proxy that allows you to modify any parameter you are sending to a website so I'm going to refresh this and the tamper data should pop up and show us everything in this way so he's telling us you are trying to send this i'm going to say okay perfect he show us all the parameters between client and server so we can look for the cookie and we can replace this cookie with the cookie we found. Is this clear, guys and girls? Yeah, so far I think I'm tracking. Perfect. Now I'm going to say OK. And pops. It's weird. The right thing is, uh, or the proper behavior is that you can you can log in i think we log we can but for some reason it's crash well let's see let's try to do this again i don't want to do every ah hijack okay it's it's marked with a verification sign you see he says okay we don't have this previously you remember right we have the video to prove it <laughs> but we didn't have this check mark or this or the verification mark previously for some reason he blocked but we we can we can succeed well, i can try to do that again but i think that the same the same um, session doesn't work let's see let's try i'm going to refresh this send the request modify the cookie It's only using the DJ session ID. I don't see the wake ID, let's see. PHP, persistence. J session ID, I don't see the... I'm going to do this again. Okay.
wake ID. I'm going to replace this one with this one and OK. And perfect. Congratulations. You have successfully completed this lesson. You see? That's way you do a session hijacking with a lot of techniques, with man in the browser, with um, uh, entropy analysis, with um, different tests and brute forcing. I hope you like it.